of Tuesday, February 13th, 2007. As you can see, I'm wearing white today, and it's for good reason. We are in for one heck of a snowstorm. As we work into our current conditions right now, we have overcast skies, a little bit of snow hanging around, the temperature 14 degrees, winds northeast at 12 miles an hour, learning that wind chill down to about 5 degrees Fahrenheit, and of course the humidity is 73% as we have that storm working in through our area. The 24 hour temperature change, which is a very good indication of how much the air mass has changed, shows that we really do have a very cold air mass working in from the north and west. As you can see in our area, native 16 degrees, or rather 16 degrees below what we were t this time today. And we have negative 12 in Bradford and negative 13 in Binghamton. And of course we have even colder air working through here in upstate New York with 21 degrees below where we were in Albany yesterday. So as we take a look at the temperatures right now, we have 18 degrees in State College, 21 degrees in Williamsport, 20 in Scranton, and a little bit colder up here, up up in northern northeast Pennsylvania as we have 12 in Elmira and 10 in Binghamton. We take a look now at the temperatures across the nation. As you can see, this really cold air mass is working through. And we have negative 8 in Bismarck, 13 in Minneapolis, 22 in Chicago. And that is going to be working its way behind this storm, which has been given up, which is going to give us a lot of the snow that we've been having. So we have right now this storm working through, this is a very strong low pressure system as you may have noticed throughout all the news reports that you've been seeing. And this basically, this whole storm takes about a half of the nation up from the eastern plains all the way over to the coast here, the Atlantic coast. So we have this storm working through in low pressure systems right about here. And we have this in our area. And as we can see on the radar, you have a very strong the low pressure right, at, right around here. And we have these storms working through uh, down here in uh, Mississippi and Alabama with a tornado watch is right about here. And we actually did have a tornado or a reported tornado today, earlier today in New, New Orleans, Louisiana. It hasn't been confirmed yet. We still have very strong storms working through the area. And as you can see, we have the snow shield, which is what we're concerned about up here in State College. We take a closer look now into our area, and we see that we have the very, very strong snow coming in with the low pressure. And there's a little bit of a mix coming in near the Mason-Dixon line. We do not expect that to be very important in our forecast, at least locally, although we could see a little bit of sleet or freezing rain mixed in later on today and tonight. For today, we have a temperature of 22 degrees, snow heavy at times, uh, five, uh, three to six inches likely by sunset. And it is going to continue to snow tonight with the really heavy snow coming in after midnight today, the low 15, snow continuing uh, 6 to 12 inches overnight. It is going to be quite a snowstorm that we're going to have today or tonight. And tomorrow we will be seeing 17 degrees, snow continuing with an additional 6 to 10 inches and the storm total 17 inches locally, 27 inches possible, but I don't expect that to happen, especially in our area. Maybe in the northern regions, we will see that heavier snowfall. And so it's, it will still be significant, though. As we take a look at our five-day forecast, we have the snow today, pretty much. It's going to snow throughout uh, Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, the sun is going to come out a little bit, partly cloudy skies. Friday, uh, Friday is going to be like that, too. Saturday is going to be mostly cloudy, a little bit of snow working in. And Sunday, we have the, sn the snow showers continuing. The highs will be mostly in the teens for most of our area up until Friday. It is going to increase in temperature throughout the weekend, with the lows still being chilly in the single digits. And for our Saturday and Sunday, we have lows in the teens. For now, that's all. I'm student meteorologist Steve Zielinski. Have a great day.